think of all the atoms. We know of from dust in your home to stars and galaxies around the universe. And these account for only 6% of known universe. About 25% of rest is dark matter and 69% is dark energy, which both are invisible. We know dark matter is real, but we really don't know where they are or how they work. So what do we know about dark matter and energy? Since they are invisible, why do scientists think they are real? Hi, I'm Roshan, and you're watching Astrophy's weekly show. Stick with me to find out what we know about dark matter. In simple words, dark matter is stuff that makes the universe possible. Dark matter can physically interact with visible matter through gravitational waves like black holes does. When scientists calculated the structure of the universe, it became clear that there was not enough visible matter to form galaxies and more complex structures. Without dark energy, stars are more likely to be scattered all over the place and not form galaxies. This is what forced scientists to believe that there is something else inside and around the universe. Something that does not emit light or something that is dark. Since it could not be found, scientists named them dark matter and energy. You might have heard about antimatter. However, dark matter is different because antimatter produces unique gamma rays which reacts with normal matter. Dark matters are also not made up of black holes as they seem to be scattered all over the place. We know three things about dark matter. One, there is something out there. Two, it interacts with gravity. Three, there is a lot of dark matter. Scientists believe dark matter are made up of unique particles that doesn't interact with light and matter. Dark energy is even more mysterious. We cannot measure it. We cannot detect it. We cannot observe it. But what we do see is there is something invisible that affects galaxy and stars. Hubble telescope discovered that universe is expanding and its expansion rate is accelerating faster than the speed of light. Before that, scientists thought gravity was causing the expansion of universe. New space is constantly being created everywhere and it acts same as it does here and billions light years away. Galaxies are tightly bound by gravity due to which we don't experience this expansion in our daily life. We know a matter can have effect to another matter, which we call gravity, and experience it as a pull by mass of sun that exerts around the planet. When two objects orbit each other, it keeps them from flying away. In 1933, astronomer Fritz Zwicky found something surprising while studying the cluster of galaxies. He measured how fast galaxies were moving around each other, like Earth and Moon does, to estimate their mass. When he compared the outcome to observable mass of galaxies, he found that it was 350 times higher, which made him believe there is something invisible which allows galaxies to orbit so fast without flying apart. This phenomenon has been observed by several scientists and has been verified in several galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Another theory to prove this is gravitational lensing. When light travels travel around the mass of objects, it bends near them through space. The more mass of the object, the greater the bending. By observing the light from distant galaxy, scientists have measured stronger than expected bending around the galaxy indicating the galaxies have more mass than our evidence, which accounts as missing mass. Scientists are not sure, but there are a number of theories that suggest the existence of dark matter and dark energy. We have found few ideas about what dark matter might be. One of them is dark energy is not a thing, but just a property of space. Another, empty space is not nothing. It has its own energy. Another idea is that empty space is full of temporary particles 
which form from nothing and disappear into nothing again. The energy released by these particles may be dark energy. Dark energy may be unknown type of dynamic field which spreads throughout the universe but somehow has the opposite effect on universe than normal matter and energy. Our understanding of dark matter and energy is just that, theories. It is so frustrating and yet exciting. There are a lot of questions to answer but our theories about dark matter are still just that. It proves no matter how superior we humans feel, we are just ancient apes with smartphones on a tiny floating planet called Earth, looking into the sky and wondering how our universe works. There is so much to learn and it's just the beginning. This video is sponsored by MyFitness7, which promotes and supports fitness in health. Learn more about it on MyFitness7.com. If you have any interesting questions about science and the universe, ask us in comments below. We'll try to answer them. And lastly, if you found any value on this video, consider subscribing. This helps us to make more exciting content in future.